uh, I really want to talk to you guys about was how to use eBay to like set yourself up to win some auctions. So going back to the bow ties, you type in bow tie at the top here along the side. So uh, first of all, sorry, at the top right there's advanced search which you can use. But I just like to use over here on the side, this sidebar here. Right here is where you got all the different categories. You can go through that. You can go through the brands. You can go through the styles. You can do the colors. You can do material, condition, all that stuff. For me personally, when I do this, because I know I don't want to pay more than a dollar, I hit under a dollar. You can also type in your own custom price right here where this is. You can type in anything. And then I also go to... Um, free shipping because I want free shipping otherwise people will charge you an arm and a leg for shipping they'll make the item 99 cents but then they'll charge you ten dollars for shipping and even though all that ten dollars is not for shipping and a lot of it probably accounts for the actual item they get you that way so um, you can also do some other cool features that are really good is like if you're trying to pick something up or if you're um, don't want to pay for shipping you can do like within a hundred miles I found a MacBook once doing this um, looked in 25 miles around me and I found somebody who was selling one so I picked it up um, there's you can do oh yeah you can do searching by just act just auctions or um, buy it now but again uh, it really depends on what you're looking for if you want something right away or anything thank you he long hi long for watching me I saw your comment okay so back to what I was saying so now when you click on an item boom, like this bow tie right here, there's several options you have. So you see the name at the top, you have the item condition, new without tags, you have the time left before it ends. Let me try to get more stable here. So the time before it ends, you see the starting bid or what the bid is at. So since nobody has bid on this, right here you see nobody has bid on it, it is uh, the starting bid is what it says, but otherwise it will say current bid. Um, so here you can type in a number, place your bid, when you do so, so let's say I do 0.8, place the bid. It's always going to give you a confirmation screen. And you're always going to have to hit confirm. So even if you're not sure, you can hit it. Um, and then you always have to confirm again. So in case you accidentally hit it, you don't have to worry about it. Just exit out at the top. What I always do is so I, I go up, search in bow time, and then I go through the listings and I click on an item. And then I always go over here to click add to watch list. And then that way, later they'll be fe uh, fielded up here. And I can just click right here and I'll have them on a single list. Now, when you click on it, you can also do the uh, option to add it to several other lists. You can make your own custom lists. You can also add them to collections, which honestly is really the same thing. You can share it with people, though. I mean, the watch list, the lists and the collections are really the same thing. So if you continue down, you can see they tell you what the shipping is like. Free shipping, of course, because I asked for it. They show you the payment methods. I always suggest PayPal. I mean, I definitely don't do a check. Don't do like a cashier's check or a bank check or anything like that. Oh, those are always scams. Just PayPal or credit card. I mean, PayPal I think is the safest. Then it goes you with your returns, your guarantees, um, all those kind of things. Guarantees sometimes don't really mean much because things, people can find their ways around them and stuff. So uh, be careful. They give you the item specs as you can see right here. And then sometimes they try to sell you other stuff. There's descriptions of different things and reviews and stuff like that. But that's not the important stuff. So. Really what's important is to focus on is the price, where you place the bid right here, make sure it's free shipping if that's what you want, um, and then uh, just know that when you type in a price here, 0.8, you're going to have to confirm again, so in case you accidentally hit it, don't worry about it. Um, I don't know what else, uh, hey Joel, how are you? Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, that's really the basics of eBay. It's not that complicated. Everybody thinks it's hard. It's hard to use. Like, it's only for people who want to really spend time on it. I mean, it's just like spending time. It's just like spending time on Facebook or on Twitter or on any social media. You spend the time scrolling through the stuff, looking at it. When you see something you like, you just click on it, add it to your watch list, and then at the end, you go to your watch list, which, which compiles everything. So it's like having a favorites for all of your favorite posts that you see on social media. So that's where we're gonna go now.